Good day, mate. I'm the Noodle Hunter, and I've got something from the lands of Japan. Luxurious tasting sea urchin instant ramen, but company Nissen. Weighing in at 72 grams of dry weight and a calorie content of approximately 350. I've never had sea urchin in my life before. When I lived in Japan, I did have an opportunity to eat it at a sushi train, but I just wasn't game enough. So this is an opportunity for me to try sea urchin for the first time, even though it might be a little bit artificial, by giving this one a taste test. Inside we have of course the noodles. It looks like the noodles that you get from the cup noodle line that Nissan provides. On the outside it also includes the paste or oil. You know I'm gonna try this a little bit later on. I can't read Japanese and I really wish I could but I love just to dissect what it might taste like. And of course it has a soup powder already opened up inside. This is a very common thing to find in the cup noodle line. It also includes I believe this must be the sea urchin and let me have a quick sniff. Kind of smells like cheddar cheese. Like you know that artificial cheddar cheese you get from like Cheetos? Very interesting. And dehydrated broccoli. Gotta get my vegetables in. Alright, let's move on to the next part. Yes, boiling these noodles. Okay, let's pour it in. Ooh, yes. I love this cup ramen. I love the cup noodle line because it just cooks so well with just normal boiling water. No hassles required. No hassle free I should say. My English just failed me just a little bit more. I think that's all I put in. And of course I'm gonna sniff it real quick. Hmm, that cheesiness kind of disappeared a little bit but I'm more interested in trying that sea urchin. Anyway, let's submerge it a bit. And actually I totally forgot. I'm gonna add this paste in. And you know I have to try doing this. Or try it out, I should say. Hmm. It is very pasty. It just it just coated my tongue in this weird paste. Didn't taste weird. It kinda tastes like really slightly of durian. Or pandan. One of those two weird fruity flavors. This is gonna be very interesting into noodle indeed. All right, let's squeeze the rest of it in. Hmm. It was not a very pleasant texture. I'm just, it's like this sliminess in my mouth. Oh, it is sticking with me as well. Oh. Anyway, now let's wait three arduous minutes. It's been about three minutes now. So, are you guys ready for the grand opening? of luxurious tasting creamy sea urchin instant ramen by the company Nissen. Bam, bam, whoa, that looks pretty amazing. Gee whiz, when I thought about it, I did mention this before, but I wonder if this is the dehydrated sea urchin. Hmm, but first of all, I've got to mix it up. And I'm gonna break the rules, because usually I taste the soup first, but I really want to try this dried sea urchin that have just rehydrated. So let's dig in. Ooh, okay. This is either gonna taste really funky or really amazing. Okay, here we go. Hmm. This sea urchin kind of tastes like sweet and cheesy Cheetos. If you ever haven't had that, that. Sorry, my English just failed me again. If you haven't had that before, you should try it out. You can get Cheetos in, in every store in America, but I mean in Japan. And the weird thing about the Cheetos in Japan is it's always kind of sweetened as well. It's like the sweetened cheddar cheesiness to it. It's quite amazing. All right, now let's move on to the second part, which used to be the first part, the soup. Got me trusty spoon, so let's go. Oh dear. Whoa, look at that. That is really thick. I can barely see the bottom of my spoon. This is gonna be pretty flavorsome. And before I move on and taste this soup, I have to mention before if I didn't mention it earlier, the sea urchin was pretty good. I think next time I'm in Japan, I'm gonna try it out and not be scared. But this time, I think the reason I get scared though is because it is raw and I'm worried that some sort of bacteria is gonna wreck my stomach. All right, enough talk about this. Let's try this soup real quick. 
Mmm. It tastes like a creamy chicken soup. It doesn't taste like sea urchin at all. It's the the stock is very much uh, like a back uh, a, a layer of flavor for the sea urchin. It's really quite nice. It's kind of like tasting almost like a creamy a chicken flavored mac and cheese. Is the best way I could describe the soup. It's quite nice and very flavorsome. I'm I'm a bit worried about my lactose intolerance because if I eat this, I might die in my stomach. My stomach might die inside. My bad, my English again. Now I'm sip, but it is really tasty. Hmm. Yeah, that weird. I think that weird paste was just there to add a bit of extra flavor to the the MSG likeness of the flavored soup. I really enjoy that soup quite thoroughly. So I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of ten. It is really quite nice. It's kind of like tasting almost like artificial but also very fresh and delicate at the same time of this creamy goodness oh all right let's move on to the noodles now let's get the spoon out of the way real quick pick up my chopsticks oh. Ooh. then pick up my spoon and put it in my spoon my, I mean the noodles anyway and hmm Exactly like the cup noodles I've had in all the, my previous videos. You can find that on my channel. Really good. And particularly this time, because I do use a flat-ish sort of ramen noodle. It complements the creaminess really well. It's like a, it is like an enhanced mac and cheese. But with a bit more of a sea urchin taste to it. It's quite nice. The starchiness of the noodles really... It boosts the flavor of the soup. It's quite, quite good. Hmm. I don't know what I gave it before, but this time I'm giving the noodles a solid 8 out of 10. It's so al dente and it dissolves in your mouth, but not in a bad way either. It doesn't become much, it just becomes digest digested noodles in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know how to do That kind of sounds gross. My bad. Okay. Let's move on to combining the sea urchin, the broccoli, the noodles, and the soup all in one bite. So let's start with the soup. Bam! Oh, that looks good. And the broccoli fell into place. That's quite nice. Noodles. Ugh, don't want too many. Bam! And to top it up with a sea urchin. <laughs> yeah. That looks pretty awesome. Now look at that. Doesn't that look like a little entree in a spoon? There is a party idea right there. If you're too lazy to think of an, an idea, is to put noodles and stuff on the spoon and serve it at a, you know, potluck. Great idea, I reckon. Okay, enough talk. Let's give this someone a bite. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. That broccoli actually tastes like broccoli. Mmm. I'm glad they add that vegetable in. It gives it more texture because although I really enjoyed the noodles and soup, when I put that, took that bite, it just all tasted like mush, and then you get hit that hit of sea urchin in your mouth. But the broccoli, the fibrousness of the broccoli really helps up break up the texture of the overall noodles. And because of that, because of that reason, if they didn't add broccoli, I'm gonna give this noodles a solid nine and a half out of ten. I'm really thoroughly enjoying these noodles, and um, contrary contrary to my. Um, previous perspectives on sea urchin because of you know I have a lot of pre-beliefs of what it might taste like these noodles were thoroughly enjoyable I didn't give it a pop, uh, you know, perfect score though because if they gave me better quality noodles I would be like oh, okay I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 but I didn't anyway that's all I have to say about these noodles then so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the noodle hunter hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well if you want to see more content from my channel Hit that like button to inflate my ego just a little bit more. And leave a comment behind. A constructive one if you want to leave something negative. But if you're a troll, I may just block you. Okay, I'll see you all next time.